Hi everyone, this is Raul Sanchez from the University of Florida. Steve Parks has asked me to say a few words about how to write theory clearly, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make basically two points. Um, one more conceptual, perhaps, uh, having to do with how we approach uh, the writing of theory, and the second um, point will be more practical, but I'll start with the first. Um, I, I think that sometimes um, we might tend to think that the, the that writing theory clearly necessarily involves um, simplifying it or boiling it down uh, or, or somehow streamlining it. Um, and uh, instead of that, I would suggest that we, we think of it uh, this way. Um, the task of writing theory clearly is the task of representing a complex set of ideas or, or one complex idea um, as clearly as possible, uh, respecting that complexity. This is true whether uh, you're writing uh, about someone else's theory and you're, you're using it as part of your own uh, project, you're going to apply it or whatever, um, or whether you're coming up with or trying to articulate a theoretical point of your own. Either way, um, I think it's, it's best to see what you're trying to do as um, representing that complexity as clearly and as accurately as possible. Obviously, some theoretical ideas are, are more intricate and complex than others, and so the, the difficulty or the challenge varies. Um, but, but that seems to me to be um, a, a good way to, to, to approach the task in general, um, which is not to say that it's easy. Um, it's, it's, it's rather difficult, uh, and, 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 and I personally benefit from having people read the work that I write to, to make sure that I'm not just uh, either talking to myself or using the the written the, the writing process to 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 clarify some issues for me right because I might write something and think well this is you know this is pretty smart pretty lucid uh, and someone else will read it and say no not really and and the reason for that disconnect may be that I was writing in order to better understand this or that point that someone else was making or that I was trying to make. But just because it's clear to me doesn't mean it's clear to somebody else. And as you can see, this is not that different than um, the kind of writing advice that we give to our own students, even when they're, when they're not writing about you know, conceptual or theoretical stuff. So that's the big picture point. Um, the more practical point um, uh, is this. I, I think that, um, you know, uh, it's 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 helpful to think of yourself as a prose stylist to, to think about the style of your writing, uh, especially when you're writing uh, theory, and and for that those kinds of issues or for those kinds of answers, I always go to Joseph Williams uh, and any of his you know various uh, style books uh, and the advice therein. Um, I think that at the sentence and paragraph level, it's really helpful to think about having. Um, uh, active subjects and verbs, or as he calls them, uh, agents and actions. I think it's really helpful to think about having them placed, uh, that is agents and actions, subjects and verbs, placed close together in a sentence uh, so that they're not, uh, there's not uh, uh, a whole giant string of words in between them. Uh, and in terms of paragraphs, I think it's helpful to think in terms of how you're guiding a reader from the beginning of the paragraph uh, all the way to the end. Um, again, if you're familiar at all with uh, um, with, with Williams's work, uh, this is what we uh, mean by cohesion and coherence. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I realize on the one hand that sounds really sort of basic and, 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 and practical, and it's, you know, it's the kind of stuff that I tell my undergraduates uh, and my and graduate students, but, but it's helpful to me as well. And when I revise my theoretical work, um, mostly what I'm revising for, at least what I understand myself to be revising for, is style. And I'm and 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 I find, as any as any theorist or researcher in style will tell you, that when you pay careful attention to issues of style, um, you also are are paying attention to 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 uh, uh, conceptual issues as well. So the the more clearly I can write um, about uh, this or that uh, theoretical concept, again, whether I'm writing about you know Kenneth Burke or whoever, or whether I'm trying to advance my own uh, uh, articulate my own point. The, the more clearly I can uh, uh, present that stylistically, I think the better job I'm doing, not only of communicating, but of understanding the work uh, itself. Um, so I think that's really important. Um, 
the idea that 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 um, uh, style, um, uh, prose style, is 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 um, worth paying a lot of attention to when you're writing theory. Um, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions or if you have uh, any um, uh, uh, thing you'd like to discuss with me, uh, you know, you can look me up uh, online, University of Florida Department of English, uh, find my email address and uh, feel free to write to me. Um, otherwise, uh, good luck. Thanks.